cranes. <laughs> All right. So, uh, today we're talking about cranes. Specifically, oh, what an, what an intro. Cranes. So today we have Misha, and um, she's kind of like the pre my president in um, Thousand Cranes Baroons too. I am a um, event planner there. It's a school club at Glen Forest. So why don't you bring her on? I know. Right, before we do, okay, the a Thousand Cranes is like exactly what the name suggests. It's a club about making origami cranes. Uh, you have volunteers on and uh, stuff like that. Misha's going to explain more to you because she knows more about it. So, yeah, let's bring her in right now. All right. Hello, Misha. Hi. Hello. Uh, yeah. No, it's connecting doing? to audio right now. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hello. Uh, okay. So, for those of you, for those of the hey, watchers that don't know you, what's your, uh, who are you? Oh, hi, my name is Misha, um, and I'm the president with Thousand Cranes and um, the school club, A Thousand Cranes Black Forest. Okay. Uh, yeah, so... Hey. <laughs> that looks so nice. Why is it so small? Did you, like, use a different piece of paper or something? I used origami paper. Oh, okay. Oh, I got that explains it. All right, so, uh, like, before I we have... ask our question... What? <laughs> I have a stack full of... Okay, okay, so we're gonna, um, this is gonna be like rapid fire questions. Yeah. We're gonna ask questions, you answer them, and yeah. yeah. Okay. So, first off, who, uh, who or what gave you the idea to create this initiative? Okay, so basically, um, I'll be I'll be honest. It originally stemmed from a TV show where where me and my sister first saw like the idea, and we already had like kind of a background. Um, like the main initiative, um, we kind of already had a background. Basically, it's based on the Japanese belief that if you create a thousand cranes, the receiver um is granted a wish. I saw mm -hmm. it a lot like in elementary school, um, in like many assemblies and stuff, and I was like familiar with the idea so we were thinking of what we could do for a gift um, for someone who had like recently recovered from this issue and we were wanting to do something handmade so um, at the time we happened to see like this idea and we were like wow like this is such a nice idea so we started creating the cranes and then eventually we were like it'd be really cool if we had more people involved in this um, club so I started off with a small group of my friends and we were like making cranes and then eventually like I opened up applications we got like more people in and that's kind of how the organization started all right so you just like uh, maybe you're watching a tv show one day and you're like hey let's make some cranes <laughs> and then you just yeah pretty much, pretty much yeah <laughs> what, so can I ask you what tv show this was um, I actually can't remember. It's been a long time. It was just like, it was just a, like, it was like a small clip. It wasn't even, it wasn't that related. We just happened to see it and like, kind of like triggered like, oh, wait a minute. This would be a good idea. Okay. Uh, Adula, you were asking a question? That was my question. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. Okay. But uh, I also have a question. Um, so can you just briefly explain like what exactly the club does? Okay, so basically what we do is that um, we have um, volunteers and they create um, like origami cranes and they give it to us. So what we do is that we set, we separate these um, cranes into sets of a thousand cranes. So it's based on, as I previously mentioned, it's based on the Japanese belief that if you um, grant, if you give someone a thousand cranes, the receiver is granted a wish. So basically it's a sign of hope and love and we give it to people who might be feeling isolated and might um, need a reminder that they are cared for within um, our um, mm -hmm. community. It's um, to increase hope and belonging. And for example, um, uh, sorry, for example, um, re recently, not that recently, but our most recent donation, it happened um, around the holiday season um, in December. Uh, we basically donated 11 sets of a thousand origami cranes each to wow. um, Credit Valley Hospital's mental health unit, and we gave it to recent suicide survivors and people with debilitating mental health um, issues so that they can feel that they are loved. Wait, so you, 11 sets of a thousand cranes, you made 11,000 cranes? Not just us, it was um, like all of the volunteers combined. Oh, wow, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's an insane amount of cranes. We had like, I think, 100-ish volunteers working at that time. How much wow. do you have? Uh, right now, um, we have 500 volunteers, um, including like all, like 
not including all the school chapters. Um, it includes like the school chapters that are operating as a separate chapter. And then we have um, 11 schools in California and like a couple schools here. So basically 13 schools across North America um, working on um, this project. Um, like 11 schools are doing it through Key Club. There was another school that I, I didn't count that um, previously in a previous year they did this and um, two schools running as chapters. In, one including Glen Forest. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's very cool. Especially Hi. the California thing. Yeah, yeah. That's very interesting. Okay. By the so, way, I've heard that... Oh, sorry. Uh, Vern, go ahead. Okay, so I think you might have answered this already, but, like, uh, the meaning behind these craze is just, like, if you uh, like you said before, if there's a 1,000 women, uh, you'll be granted a wish. But I also think I heard of this. Like, you, know, you guys all know about the Hiroshima bombing, right? Like in, uh, oh yeah, I've heard of that too. Yeah, so I think I read a, we did a book report one time in the uh, eighth grade. Uh, I read this book where I believe uh, the people that survived that bombing, they all made cranes to give, like to put on the graves of the people that passed away as a way to remember them, I think. Yeah, yeah. this is, um, it's actually one of um, the things that popularized um, the like idea of a thousand organic mm -hmm. cranes. So um, I know that currently what happens is that a lot of people will, um, in Japan, ma they make um, like origami cranes and they use it to honor the people. And they also give it to people who are like um, facing issues like um, cancer and stuff as a result of the bombings and um, like further like issues that happened after the bombings. So um, it's one of the um, things that like one of the things that are like there um, that popularized the concept of a thousand cranes. Um, the concept has existed for a long time, but it's in like popular um, in recent media. So like the next question is how many cranes have you collected so far? Uh, how many cranes? So this is actually a bit of a complicated question because it's been a while since we've done our last count. So I know that we've gotten 11,000 cranes uh, in December, but since then we've had like 400 more volunteers added. Um, I know that um, I think we have like about like 5,000 in sets recently before COVID um, happened, but we're expecting a lot more people to submit um, after COVID, um, like submit their cranes. Um, we have like definitely like a good like 30 people at the minimum who are planning to attend our first meeting for with a thousand cranes as soon as we open because um, they need to drop off their cranes. So okay. it wouldn't, it'd be kind of difficult to give an accurate um, estimate right now, but it's pretty high. But it, would you say it's more than a million? <laughs> Definitely not. That'd, uh -huh. that'd be really cool though. Um, we do want to, um, you know, at some point reach like a really high number. That'd be really cool. World record. <laughs> I'll donate like, the four I made today, so yeah. Oh wait, um, like this is off our script, but what was I gonna say? All right, do you plan on taking this club outside of school, or do you want to just like keep it in school after the four years you're finished? Oh, um, actually, right, it was originally based outside of school. So with okay. the thousand cranes, I'll basically, uh, so basically what we had was that when I was in uh, eighth grade, mm -hmm. me and my sister started an organization with a thousand cranes. So um, that's like the main organization. Um, okay. And we started that, I like, 2018. So when I was in eighth grade. Uh, sorry, 2019, 2018. Um, and we basically, um, when I came to, like, Glen Forest in ninth grade, um, towards the end of the year, um, I started looking into creating a chapter at the school because um, we had, like, a couple other chapters starting. Like, for example, I know that um, John Fraser was ha having a chapter and I was kind of interested in the idea of having chapters. So um, that's when I uh, opened one and like I opened a chapter within Glen Forest. So yes, I plan to continue this outside of school, outside of okay. school, um, and yeah. Wait, so technically speaking, are you like the boss of like all those schools? Um, I guess technically, yeah. Um, but there are definitely like executive people within like, like, for example, the school chapters, there's like executive teams within these. And um, we're kind of like the drop off point we give, um, we get like the cranes, we collect them, um, we do things like signing off hours. Um, and we like kind of like overlook like what the chapters activities are, and things like that. 
but um, the executive members of that specific chapter will do their activities too. Okay. Have you ever considered getting them to like make origami, like origami of you? <laughs> like, uh, I, think I think that would be a little bit too hard because because if yeah. I if it was me, I would get people to make origami of me for me. Well, I mean, it's behind uh, the message, right? Like, so. Is, is, it like, is there a message me... to an origami doula? Or... <laughs> it makes or... me feel important. <laughs> I mean, I guess it'd be cool if you're like a professional, you can like really mold paper on people's faces, but I'm like, oh, that's going to happen now. Just kind of that'd different. be really cool i remember yeah. that when i started like doing the crane stuff it was actually like the day after i was thinking you know it'd be cool to do like make the cranes like i actually had never made origami cranes before that <laughs> so like <laughs> i remember i had like a phase in elementary school when i was like into origami but i still mm -hmm. had to eat origami cranes so <laughs> um i i actually don't know much beyond in origami other than origami cranes oh okay so would you say you're pretty good at making these cranes? I've made so many. I think it's been a while since I made some in a while now, but like I've made so many. I, I'd say yeah. I mean could you, you make it less, could you make one in less than five minutes? In less than five minutes, yeah. Yeah, probably. Boys were screwed. <laughs> okay, uh yeah, the reason we're asking this question is because at the end when we're finished asking all our questions, we are going to have a competition to see which one of us four can make the, make our cranes the fastest. And the loser has to do a special punishment, which we, we will reveal at the end. All right. Sounds also, cool. Yeah, I, I just want to ask, how many cranes do you think you've made so far? Like you personally? personally? Like you, you personally, yeah. Personally? Um, like, I think, like, at least, like, a set of a thousand, definitely. Oh, um, wow. Okay. Because it's been like I, I make them like during my free time and stuff too like and like you know between like off times and stuff because it's like yeah. easy and fun activity it's actually like really easy to like keep doing and like um when you're like doing it and you keep consistently doing it, especially when you have free time like in the summer and stuff you just kind of keep doing it and you're like okay I want to reach this specific amount I remember like one day in one day I made like 150 cranes and my ha my hands were uh, stained blue like my fingers because the paper was blue. <laughs> So like wow. my fingertips are staying blue for like the next like week. Wait, so do you have like a spe a special place to keep your hands like a box or? Like, yeah, I actually room? do. Um, hold on, I can like show um real quick the cranes. Hold on, wait. Um, yeah, for sure. I was really screwed. <laughs> keep them. Oh my god, <laughs> that's Yo. a lot of cranes. <laughs> and they'll just collection. So yeah. So are those like, like my sister's cranes combined? We oh wow! So like, these are, are these all the cranes from like day one or just? Um, the, these are um, the cranes. I think th these are definitely not from day one because all of our cranes that were made before um, January were donated. The oh, yeah. um, like, it was actually January that we did it. I think it was like, mm -hmm. like right towards that holiday season. So okay. everything before that was already donated, and uh, I know that uh, we've put some of our cranes in like some pre-made of uh, thousand crane packages that we made um, during the summer. Like we counted up some of our cranes, um, and we started setting it up. So um, some of those cranes are there, but like I think there's definitely the collection since like I think March. Maybe. Wow. Mm -hmm. For the um, <laughs> for the competition, I think uh, Misha s should start in like. 30 seconds after we start. <laughs> yeah, we get a head start. Fair. You guys to make it fair. Okay, maybe not 30 seconds. Maybe just like 20 seconds. You need to really take yeah. long to pull paper. All right, I okay. don't have much I myself tiny so. paper for this because I, I make all my cranes with tiny paper. Oh, yeah. This is how long my cranes turned out. I, have, I actually have one here that I made a really long time ago. Uh, this is like, oh, right here. Uh, this is like one of the only things I've ever made in origami. I don't usually do this kind of stuff, so I'm pretty bad at it. So I'm probably going to lose and that's have to do good, the punishment. That's a pretty good that's crane, good. though, especially if you don't do origami. I remember yeah. my first few cranes were, like, terrible. I actually had to rewatch the video, like, so many times. And it wasn't until, like, some, like I think it wasn't until, like, three months in of just making cranes continuously that I realized I was actually messing up one of the steps on, like, all of my cranes. I wasn't folding down the wings properly, and yeah. I think I think this one took me like at least five tries. I'm pretty. Oh, let me see if I can put it on my screen. 
it's still really cool. And I'm looking for the screen. Um, all right, I, we have like a few more questions. Yeah, uh, yeah. I want to ask. Uh, so, where do you see this club in the next couple of years? Like, uh, I saw that in your uh, your website, you have like a start a chapter page. So, do you mm. expect more expanding to more schools? Yeah. So basically, um, as of recent, it's actually recently um, that we opened the starter chapter page. So before what we had was um, basically our overall goal is that we want to expand um, like our reach and we want to be able to um, reach more people and be able to like help more people feel that they are loved. Um, overall, our goal is that we want people to feel like that. So what we've started doing is um, we've noticed that um, people um, have messaged us that, that they want to participate in like larger groups and uh, form like almost like chapters. Okay. So um, noticing this pattern, we decided that it actually be most convenient to open a starter chapter page. So um, people who may be um, like wondering, wanting to um, start this, they get that little push and um, they're able to do so. Um, because it's like right there, it's easy to do. It's a simple form. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So yeah, we want to expand. Uh, so I think, I think the next question was already asked. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay, I guess uh, the next question was mine. So, oh, wait, sorry. No, uh, Adula, go wait, ahead. I think everything was asked. I'm going to, like, edit this out, by the way, so. Okay, um, so, we know, we can, well, you can move on to the competition if you guys want. Like, well, oh, we wait, can answer to every question. Do people receive volunteer hours out of this? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, most okay. of our volunteers are people looking for volunteer hours. Okay. Um, I know for, like, people who want 40 hours, this is an extremely, like, easy way to get your hours. Um, I know that like a set of a thousand origami cranes can get you approximately 60 hours. Oh, wow. okay. um, it depends on how much time it takes you. We actually award it based on like how long it takes you to make the like cranes. We count how, because everyone takes a different amount of time. And we've also had people mm -hmm. do things like decorating the cranes. Okay. So um, we have them do that. And um, yeah, so it's basically based on that. Um, so the 40 hours, it counts for 40 hours. People who are looking for SA hours, it counts because it's a um, it's a long term commitment, and it's something that you can do on a consistent basis, and it's actually something you can do from home. So even though you're at home, what we do is that we request a little bit of proof, so something like um, logs and like pictures and videos and stuff to prove that you yourself are making them, and you do these at home. And, and I know that um, people looking for cast hours, this counts too. Um, so people in the upper grades of IB, this also counts for hours. Guys, you should start volunteering. Yeah, yeah. it's a convenient way to do it. And honestly, like it's, it's so meaningful and it, it's like a way to directly give back to the community because your cranes, your handmade cranes are going to be given to um, someone directly. They're going to be able to view it like every day and know mm -hmm. that there's like so many people who care for them. Wait, so can kids from other schools... Uh, like for Spain, the club, like they can, if they have volunteer hours, they need to do like 40 hours, like the other sure, menu. Sure. So, um, if you're in Glen Forest, basically what we do is that, um, since we have our in school organization and our out of school mm -hmm. organization, we try to split it up. So, um, people who want to participate as a school, like in the school club, can do so. It will act like any other school club. Okay. Um, if they want to participate as an out of school like thing um, and they want to participate in the main organization, they can do that too. The main organization is open to everyone worldwide. We have um, volunteers around the whole world. It does oh, not wow. matter which school you're at. Um, we've had people from Hawaii do it, from people from California. We've had people in like different countries. It's mm -hmm. um, like entirely like it's, it's something that you're able to do on your own. We just have slightly different processes for people in different um, countries and people in areas that are far away from our drop-off point. So we either have them um, mail it to us, um, but we understand that sometimes that can be expensive. Um, mm -hmm. So they can also um, just message us where they want to send it personally. We'll give them, um, a, like we basically keep a message that we give to all of our um, recipients of our organic cranes. And it basically describes the message of the crane so that they understand what they have received. Okay. Um, and we'll give that message to them to um, attach to their um, box. And they will send it out and send us things like pictures and stuff so we know that where it has gone. Cool. Okay. Uh, all right. Wait, another question. Yeah. So, like, 
with COVID-19 happening, how has things changed, like, with mm-hmm. outside of school and, like, inside of school, like, with clubs and stuff? Yeah. All right. So, um, outside of school, what we used to do is that we used to um, have a drop-off point. Um, uh, this nonprofit cafe, uh, it's called Studio 89. They, um, they hold a lot of events and stuff, so they let us um, use, we book the area, and we um, basically, it's a drop-off point, so people can get their hours there, they can drop off their cranes there. The, um, currently, with the COVID-19 stuff, uh, Studio United is closed, so we're not able to run meetings. But um, once um, Studio 9 reopens, which I believe should be soon because they said mid-September, mid to end September, but I do believe that um, the dates may have changed because the last update was a while ago. Um, once, once they reopen, um, we have our volunteers hold onto their cranes for now. Um, and then once it reopens, they can come and get their hours signed. Um, they can actually get their hours signed um, electronically for now. Um, and then they'll drop off the cranes later. For the in-school organization, what we're asking is that either people hold onto their cranes for the until the following school year, um, or they can drop it off at Studio 9 once it reopens. And um, once again, um, since um, school clubs have like supervisors signing hours and stuff, I'm not exactly sure about the process with that since I'm okay. still waiting on details personally. Um, but like, it like you can still continue to do this even during the COVID-19 pandemic. Right, and it's just like a way to, you know, uh, kill some time before you can just mm. make it. Yeah, 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 definitely. If you're already um, at home, it's so easy no to start doing it. Actually, right. I just had uh, one more question. Sorry. Hmm. Um, is there uh, what's what was like the idea behind your logo? Oh, our logo. Okay, um, this is actually one of my favorite questions to answer. So. Uh, Me and my sister designed the logo together, um, and they were like, we spent a very long time trying to figure it out. So there's two meanings to our logo. So first off, um, you see how it's like a square? It kind of represents um, the origami paper. And you see like um, the, um, there's like basically like a line, horizontal and a vertical line. So that, that represents the first folds that are made when you're um, making the origami crane. And we have a, the heart in the middle, which is folded with love. And um, also in addition to that, it kind of looks like a, a gift box um, from yeah, the top, yeah. if you see it from the top. So it's like kind of like how the ribbons are tied. And then it's like tied um, with love and like it kind of looks like, you know, like a ribbon. So it's like, um, it's a really like, we spent a lot of time thinking about the logo and um, it's actually one of my favorite things about like to explain. Yeah, it's very interesting because most people take like the traditional route and just have like a like a paper crane mm-hmm. on the logo. But you guys definitely put a lot of meaning into what you guys yeah. are doing. Right, this is a new segment. So for today, we're going to be having a origami crane building competition. Yep. So we're seeing who could do it the fastest. Uh-huh. Um, so first place winner he doesn't really have to do anything. Yeah. Second place, nothing. Third place, we'll see. And like fourth, like there's gonna be a dare, right? Th- this segment's called dare. Oh, okay, so, interesting. Sure. All right, no, no, let's make this, let's call this segment uh, win or dare. Yeah, win or dare. dare. Yeah, 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 that's good. So All win right. or dare. So um, the loser has like everybody else dares the other person to do something like the loser yeah so in today's video it's gonna be either create a hundred cranes oh my god <laughs> okay. bot, or sing a song to varun's melody which is basically our next segment called glenn talent no no, no no not my melody no, okay? no, no, no. <laughs> no uh, what i'm thinking is we just pick like a really cheesy song you guys yeah. don't actually are gonna... <laughs> no, uh, well, okay what i'm thinking is we're gonna pick an, a really cheesy song and just we're gonna have to sing. Yeah. They'll just pick a verse or something, maybe like their mm-hmm. twenty seconds of just sing it on camera with your camera no, on. On camera? No, no, no. no we can record this after. No, 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 no. This is no. happening now. <laughs> Better that if you're not making a hundred. What are you guys gonna do? Like, no. Okay, I'm pretty uh, sure Misha's not gonna lose because she has the most experience. It's definitely gonna be one of us three. I haven't made crazy like I think like several months. Oh, that, that's I haven't made a crate in my entire yeah. life. All right, okay, like ch- let's change our camera, change, make that clean and stuff. Also, guys, uh, Misha is using like really small paper because if she uses normal paper, it's not fair. Yeah, no, it's just just to balance it out. We're using uh like normal paper like, and uh, 
Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. It's uh, yeah. so, like angle your cameras down if you need to. I'm just gonna put it here. Hold hey, just... on. Three, two, one, go. Okay. All cranes look good, but that crane looks twisted. <laughs> Wait, is that a crane? <laughs> I don't want to say, but like, one, two. Oh, no. Three, one, two. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, my God. It okay. It's like a dragon, but it's okay. It's okay. Right, um, hold on. Give me a second. Okay, wait. Yo, uh, you, okay, you got, I'll let you guys pick the song. God. All Town Road? Yeah, do that. Do that. Yeah, okay, yeah. I agree. Yeah, okay. You gotta be kidding. Wait, hold on. That, that... <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Wait. That's uh... It'll be so close. It'll be, it'll be too off from the original. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could just do like a... Oh, too oh, I think acoustic only, and then I'll just... No, you could say like yeah. instrumental only, and then I'll just I'll look up the lyrics. Hold on. I have the lyrics with me right now, but I just need the... Uh... Oh, I thought you were about to say that you have them memorized, and I was like... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God, no. Wait, can All you right. see? Yeah, I can see it. Oh, yeah, just play it. Okay, one sec, one sec. Uh, okay. I can't believe my life has come to this. I have to yeah. sing Old Town Road in front of and on my podcast that I created. <laughs> I'm going to take my horse to the Old Town Road. I'm going to ride till I can't no more. I'm going to take my horse to the Old Town Road. I'm going to ride till I can't no more. I got the horses in the back. <laughs> Horse tack is attached. Had this many black. Got the boots this black to match. Riding on a horse. Ha, you can whip your porch. I've been in the valley. You ain't been up on the Okay, yeah, that's it. 30 seconds. Oh, thank God. Oh, that was horrible. Oh, my God. <laughs> the emotion. <laughs> the pure emotion. Oh, my God. I'm actually... You're a terrible singer. <laughs> I know. That's why I didn't want to do it. <laughs> you want me to sing? Uh, if you want, yeah, to make make it more interesting. Yeah, sure, go ahead. <laughs> sure, if you want, go ahead. All right, I, I'm, yeah, not, I'm gonna I, I take my headphones off. Off. Oh, my oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, hold on. I have my guitar. Uh, give me a second. Let me just get That's it. That's the best song I've ever heard. <laughs> hold on. Let me give me a second. Let me put it to 30 seconds. Uh, okay. All right, yeah. Uh, five, four, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Sorry here, and uh, yeah, tell everyone uh, go volunteer for a thousand cranes if you haven't already, and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay safe, social distance. Wait, wait, wait. Let, wait, wait. What? let's see what happens to the crane I made. Oh, and um, if you guys make it. Have a volunteer for with a thousand cranes, um, go to www.withathousandcranes.com or go to our Instagram uh, handle at with a thousand cranes and yeah. um. If you're interested in participating in the in-school organization, we will soon be releasing volunteer applications within the next couple of weeks. Our Instagram uh, handle is at Thousand Cranes GFSS. Yeah, uh, we'll link all of it below. Yeah, everything below. And uh, Udula's feeding his crane to his dog right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chasing up. Oh, poor 